Welcome to our lecture online and now we have an example for you. We have a triangle here where none of the angles are 90 degrees. We know the three sides A, B and C and we're trying to find the angle, let's say angle C right here. Here we have the law of cosine that will allow us to find angle C but then we can also write the very same law in a different perspective to find angle A and angle B. And why don't we go ahead and do that then we add them all up and see if we get 180 degrees that will then prove that this is correct. All right. So uh, let's see here, we want to find angle C, so we're going to solve this equation for the cosine of C. So the cosine of C is equal to the left side, which is C squared, minus A squared, minus B squared, by moving the A and the B, A squared and B squared to the left side, and then dividing by the coefficient here, divide by minus 2AB. Plug in numbers, let's see what we get. All right, so C is 15, so we get 15 squared minus a, that's 8 squared, minus b, which is 12 squared, all divided by minus 2 times a, which is 8, times b, which is 12. And let's see what we get when we do that. So 225 minus 64 minus 144 divided by negative 2, divided by 8, and divided by 12. And so what we get here is we get uh, minus 0 0.088542. Now let's take the arc cosine of that, or inverse cosine. So angle C is equal to the inverse cosine of minus 0 0.088542. When we do that, we get 95.08 degrees. 95.08 degrees. All right, that's our first angle. Let's now do the same for angle B and angle C. So the cosine of angle B is equal to, so now we'll take this equation right here. So it's equal to B squared minus C squared minus A squared divided by the coefficient here, which is minus 2CA, minus 2CA, which is equal to 12 squared minus 15 squared minus 8 squared. Oop, that should be squared divided by minus 2 times 15 times 8. All right, let's see what we get here. 144 minus 225 minus 64 divided by negative 2 divided by 15 divided by 8 and we get 0 0.60417. Now let's take the inverse cosine of that. So B is equal to the inverse cosine of 0 0.60417. So inverse cosine, we get 52.83 degrees. And finally, the third angle, angle A. So we have the cosine of A is equal to, so now we take this equation right here and solve for the cosine of A. So that's a squared minus b squared minus c squared all divided by the coefficient here, minus 2bc, minus 2bc. When we plug in the numbers, we get the following. a squared, that would be 64 minus 144. Uh, well, let's see. Let me just plug in what they are. So we have 8 squared minus 12 squared minus 15 squared divided by negative 2 times 12 times 15. Let's see what we get in this case. 64 minus 144 minus 225 divided by negative 2 divided by um, 12 divided by 15. So we get 0 0.84722. And so the angle A is equal to the inverse cosine of 0 0.4. Oh, 0. 84722 and let's see what we get here inverse cosine 32.09 degrees 32.09 degrees now if we add all three of them together they should add up to 180 degrees so we're going to add up this angle here this angle here and this angle here and see what we get 95.08 52.83 and 32.09 all right, so that's 11 plus 9 is 20, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0, 1, 8, 1. 180 degrees exactly, which tells us we did everything correctly and the law of cosine works.